Hi. Hello. I think we're live now. I believe. Let's see. Only time will tell if it's working. Or not. Yes, I think it is. It's just a live, little live button here. Hello. Good morning. Still got two minutes before. Let's see who's going to join us today. You move up, Matthew. Okay. Hmm, I think I could do this as my discussion. Oh, yes, we are live. Hi, Judith. Nice to see you. Hello. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nikki. Hi, what have you been doing this morning? Hi, Ian. Hi, welcome to our living room. Good morning. What, what's been the highlight of your morning so far? Feel free to leave in your comments. We'll be checking them and your prayer requests as well. Hi, Graham. Morning, everyone. Well, afternoon soon, really. Hi, Pat. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lily, Heather, and Chris. Hi, Nitha. Hi, yay. Thank you. It's the first time doing this, so <laughs> it's really good to know that it's live, it's working. That's good. Whew, good. That's already an answer to prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, whoever's behind Raina Lane Baptist Church admin. <laughs> <laughs> James, I think. Nice to see everybody joining. Yeah, amazing. We're keeping an eye on the comments so we can see your prayer requests and we'll be making a note of it. And uh, we'll be making sure that we pray for all those requests. Well, but the Pat had a morning shopping at Morrison's, your day out. Very nice. I hope it was, you know, everyone was keeping to social distancing it was safe hi Judah and Priscilla Finlow family good to see you good to have you hi Andrea good morning, morning. and Judith said hoping to be there before now so you can watch from work I oh, hope you can join us great okay so Without further ado, it, I make it 12 noon, so good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm Will and this is my wife Cherry. Uh, we are, for those who don't know, we're members of the church. So welcome today to uh, this devotional, um, which is, you know, one of a regular devotional held at 12 noon, roughly every day. And uh, what we'll be doing today is um, going and sharing uh, from a portion of God's word and a few reflections. So Cherry has very kindly offered and agreed to lead us today in this devotional. So I'll hand over to Cherry. Great. So um, just picking up from the day's theme of animals, if you tuned into Sharon yesterday, you'll know that she talked about how precious we all are to God. And she quoted the scripture about, you know, uh, sparrow. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different and it's going to be interactive so for the children watching shout out to the challengers hey um, you want to take part with us and you need to grab a sweet or a chocolate or even a raisin so something small that you can put in your mouth and hang on to it don't eat it yet okay hang on to it we'll tell you what to do later so you want to take a few seconds to quickly just grab that sweet or you know mums out there if you can just give your child a candy or chocolate to hold on to we'll be doing exercise together a little bit later so as you can see we've got some animals some snakes with us too. um let's find out what their names are worry anxiety right that's a bit funny but maybe for some of us this is how it actually feels right now this is a difficult time with coronavirus we've got worry and anxiety hanging on our necks and it can at times feel choking now today we're going to look at what jesus says about worry and anxiety learn practice that can help us to say goodbye to these two let's look at matthew chapter 6 and will is going to read for us starting from verse 25 so if you've got a bible please turn to that as well um or you can just listen will's going to read from verse 25 matthew chapter 6. yes so follow with me if you will or just listen to god's word therefore i tell you do not worry about your life 
what you will eat or drink or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, shall, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But well, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Thank you, Will. Um, I've just noticed a few more people have signed on. Hi, Howard. Hi, Peter Davis. Um, and for those who have just signed on, we are looking today at Matthew chapter 6, at the passage that is starting the heading, Do Not Worry. And Will just very kindly read that passage for us. But if you just joined, then please feel free to follow with us as well. Now, the passage that Will just read, um, there's something that's quite interesting. The word look, where Jesus said, look at the birds in the air. In Greek, according to the Expositor's Greek Testament commentary, it says to observe well, to take a good look at. I found it very interesting that Jesus didn't say to think of a bird or just to know in your head of a bird, but he said to look. Two years ago, Will and I went to Israel and we went to Jerusalem. Yeah, that was a really good trip. Yeah, we really recommend going. Um, I remember standing there in Jerusalem on this really nice square and there were lots of sparrows just flying around, doing their own thing. And I was thinking of this very passage and I could really just picture Jesus standing there, speaking with his disciples, saying, do not worry about you know, what you eat, what you drink. And literally gesturing with his hand saying, look, really just to look. Look at the way the birds are flying. Look at the way that, you know, they have these intricate patterns on their feathers. Listen to the sound of the birds chirping, noticing the movements as the birds gather around in the flock. And also see, see how the lilies of the field grow. And, and Israel, there were some lilies as well, they're growing in the roadside. And well, we don't have a lily, but we do have this plant. Get the plant. <laughs> And um, actually, we don't know what it's called in English, but it's a plant that was given to us a few years ago. And then I just imagined it was a lily. And, and I was just imagining, you know, Jesus pointing to see how the lilies of the field grow and just to meditate. Just look how, how the colors um, are so radiant. Look at the petals, how they're so delicately joined together. The, the shapes of the leaves and how the different, you know, pigments are on the leaves and the petals and how it all joins together and rooted into the soil. This, this way of looking and feeling and smelling with our five senses, one way of calling this is called mindfulness. And the definition of mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present, to be fully aware of where we are and what we're doing and not overly reactive or be overwhelmed by what's going on around us. Now, another word for this is meditation and being aware and being fully aware of what's going on is, is a good thing. It sounds good, doesn't it? I'm just thinking on the other hand, a lot of us can actually go through life in a rather mindless way. I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I can really think of times where I've come up the stairs just to get something. And by the time I've got to the top of the stairs, I just completely forgot what it is that I wanted to get. Or when you know you're eating a meal but you're not really paying attention to what you're eating because your mind is elsewhere thinking about your exam or you know school the next day or maybe for those of you who drive you might have remembered times where you've driven home and not really noticed anything about your journey because you've been driving an autopilot yeah and 
we've got a laptop in front of us, which is why we can communicate with you in this way. And it reminds me of a time when... Hi, we're back. Let's give this another try. Don't know if for those of you who are staying, if you can still join. Sorry about that. I'm hoping that is working now and that you can hear us okay. We've just changed laptop, so hopefully it's working. So we're just going to carry on with the devotion. Really sorry about the technical difficulties. It just shows that, you know, there's such a limitations to technology and we're trying our best with it. And actually it was a quite good experience for us to try and manage our own anxiety just now. It was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, the worst nightmare Worry for me. Worry and anxiety. Yeah, definitely. It was the worst nightmare for me. And, um, you know, thinking about, oh no, there's something's going to go wrong. And it did go wrong, but you know, mm. we survived this and we're back now. Yeah. So hopefully you can watch this at a later time. If you logged off to do other things, that's absolutely fine. Mm. You can catch up a bit later. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Glad that you can hear us loud Yay. and clear. Hello, Anita. Hi again. Okay, so where were we? Um, well, we got some messages. Thank, thank you for people who let us know um, that we got up to actually you sharing how oh. you ignored me that time when okay. you were on the laptop. Yeah. And I said hi to you. Okay. And that was upsetting for me. Yes. Okay. So yes. from that point, we went on to talk about. Yes. Then we said actually how important it is then as Christians. We want to be mindful Christians. We we want to be aware. Um, Thanks, Elliot. Yes, where we were left off. We want to be aware of God's presence in our lives. We want to be aware of the truth in God's word of God being with us. So we want to be 100% aware, giving our attention 100% to God and His reality, His truth in our life. Um, it's, it's not really great if you know we are going through our days um, reading the Bible, but our minds are on other things or listening to a sermon and where our minds are actually worried about the next day. I mean, we've all done it. Is something that we struggle with but something that we can really work towards and practice is to um, try and you know be as Jesus was telling us when we're worried about something pay our attention to his creations look use our senses be mindful giving him you know our best and so if you still got your chocolate um, from the beginning or your candy we're going to do a bit of a mindful eating together and uh, so have the chocolate in your hand, don't eat it yet, um, hold it, and we're going to look at it together. And uh, we're just going to practice this idea of um, meditation, being, being mindful, with some fun exercise, hopefully, of eating this chocolate together. Hi Peter, good to have you back, thanks for bearing with us, this, this technology thing is um, something we're learning with. So if you still got your chocolate, then roll it around your hand, just use your five senses to really kind of experience this okay so put in your comments as well if you're doing this with us smell it you know maybe feel it notice the texture the weight the temperature and slowly start to unwrap it surprise these lasted so long i know still got a few eggs eh? i know these were the last two we waited for this Okay, and um, maybe just notice the texture of the chocolate. No, my one's got some kind of print on it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's a pattern. Isn't it? And maybe smell it. Notice the shape. Oh, there it's got a nice smell. Oh, really? Nice chocolate smell. Mm. And when you're ready, pop it in your mouth. Hmm. It's good. Mine's crunchy inside. And a bit sticky. Hmm. It's not a hollow it's not a hollow egg. No, I have to say I never would have noticed that if I was just eating it and like doing something else or not really paying attention. I'm enjoying it a lot more. How about you? Tastes good. Yeah, it's really good. So how was your experience of doing this mindful eating? Well, it's different because usually I just stuff my face and I don't really think about, um, you know, how something uh, feels on my hands. 
the weight of it, the colour, the texture, I just, I've got an objective, I'm hungry, I want to eat this to satisfy that hunger, and that's it, but actually this short exercise was helpful for me just to be very much present in that moment of this is the chocolate egg, wow, okay, I didn't notice that before, actually I really enjoyed eating that chocolate egg, mm. so just being able to focus on that, and I guess reflect that reflect upon the fact that even these small things like having a chocolate egg to eat um, is a gift from God so that was good in that moment mm, thank you so yeah so just practicing and being aware that um, with all these good things come from God and fully enjoying it and giving thanks to God being aware of God in our life being able to be fully aware of God's truth in our lives that is something that we can all grow in and um, apologies again for the technology, so we're going to go into a time of prayer now. Will is going to lead us in prayer. And we did write down some prayer requests from the previous stream, so hopefully we'll be able to capture those. Um, if we miss some of those, they will be covered in the next few days as well. So, yeah, so um, we're going to a time of prayer and then conclude. Um, so let us uh, pray. So Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you for technology. Um, we thank you that we're now up and running and was able to um, return to this devotion. And we thank you for everyone who's been able to stay on. Thank you for uh, patience, Lord, and your people in encouraging one another. We thank you, Lord, for our NHS workers, the ones on the front line, the doctors, the nurses, the paramedics, the healthcare workers who are working in the community. We thank you, Lord, that um, you have people out there willing to help others, Lord, and to care for others. And we pray, Lord, at this time that you would protect them, that you will provide for their needs, and, Lord, that you would help those who are not serving on the front line to support and into, uh, to encourage them as well. We pray, Lord, for our leaders in this country. We pray for Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, and the government. We pray, Lord, that you give them wisdom, that you give them protection, and you help them to make wise and godly decisions in the days and weeks and months ahead. We pray for the health and well-being of members of the church and those who um, have been mentioned by name, Lord. You know who they are. We pray for healing, Lord where healing needs to happen, whether that's physical, spiritual, or in any other way, Lord. We pray, Lord, for us as a church, that we would be loving um, our neighbour, that we would be loving you, Lord, and that we would be um, focusing this time, Lord, this time that we have to, um, to maybe do what we would like, but we pray that we would dedicate, put aside, be mindful of that time and dedicate it to Jesus. And Lord, we pray for each um, of us in this time of uncertainty, of possible worry, of possible anxiety, that Lord, that we can focus on you and your creation and be thankful, Lord. And we give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So that concludes uh, the devotion. Uh, we will be before we get off here, um, putting a link on to uh, the Baptist Union website for further information on Christian meditation, Christian mindfulness, and also um, a link to the Good Book Company, which has a useful blog on um, Christian uh, mindfulness too. Um, but yeah, keep putting your comments and your uh, prayer requests uh, on the comment section, and that'll be really good. And join us again, or not us, Abraham, tomorrow, for the next installment and we really look forward to that so thank you all bless you and have a great day bye bye